Yeah, good day everybody. Welcome back to um, our Revit 2016 um, tutorials. Okay, um, uh, let's see, previous tutorials we added um, some casework or joinery. Um, depends on uh, what nationality, where you, where you work from. Um, okay, so th we did a very, very simple job there where we just really did just add some cabinets there. Okay, and these are all ground floor ones. Right, so what we're going to do in this video is with this one, we're just going to sort of add um, a few more elements um, to the um, to the project. So we've got a powder room here that has no um, no toilets. Um, we've got a laundry here with no washing machine or anything like that. Uh, if I go to my first floor plan, we're pretty stark is up here as well okay so might use this space here as a um, I think as a bathroom or this one here we'll see what happens we'll see what happens okay back to the ground floor okay so what we're going to do now is we're just going to um, go back into our library and um, just sort of see what elements Revit has available for us and um, let's go from there okay so um, where can we go? So up here in the ribbon, and uh, we can go insert up there, and we can go load family. Okay, this is going to take us to our library. Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Okay, I'm based in Australia, and you know, use Australian speak and all this stuff. Okay, so I have an Australian Revit Australia library. If you're in the States, you have a United States one. If you're in England, you have an English library, etc., etc. But my belief is that most of these folders should be pretty similar overall, and even a lot of the families shared. But anyway, so if I was to look for, let's bring that down, say some waterworks, toilets, and things like that, okay, um, by default, I'm probably going to go into here, which is the plumbing folder. So I'm going to double click in there. Um, MEP, Mechanical Electrical Plumbing. So that's really for the engineers. So, but let's go into the architectural side of it. Fixtures. Um, you will find that there are a lot of folders in the Revit library. But this is something that you can um, manage later on. Okay, so we've got, um, what have we got there? Okay, water closets. Let's go in there, toilets. Okay, um, got a toilet commercial, toilet domestic. Okay, so this is what I use just as a generic um, during sketch work and things like that. Um, so I'm going to choose that one, domestic uh, 3D, open. Okay, let's go back into our library, go back to load family. Let's go back to plumbing, back to architectural. This is good, we get to repeat things. Fixtures, uh, bathtubs this time. Um, a 3D rectangular. This one needs a wall, so it's quite a regular sort of bath. So let's grab that one. Um, and again, let's go back in again. Plumbing, architectural, fixtures. Okay, we are looking for uh, what's in others. I haven't seen this one here. Down pipes. No, I don't really need down pipes right now. Sinks, urinals. Let's have a quick look in sinks. Okay, there's a couple here that we can grab. Uh, we might grab the sink triple, um, and we might do the the sink vanity round. So we'll need those for casework and stuff. So let's grab those. Okay. Low family once more. Um, okay, so plumbing, wasn't anything there. So let's try, specialty equipment's a good little folder, it usually finds all sorts of stuff in here. Uh, commercial, domestic, uh, let's try domestic. Here we go. Uh, what we got there? We've got a washer. There you go, there's a top loader, we'll use that. Um, there's a refrigerator. Uh, a range range hood so um, 
Yeah, I might grab a few little things there. What have we got there? Grab that one, that's a nice one. Sorry, exhaust hood there. Um, a very basic oven. Basic fridge. And a basic uh, top loader washing machine. Let's have a quick look in there. Is there anything else that we need? No. Go open. Okay, so this is just, we're not using these just yet. We're just trying to bring these into the into the, the project. Actually, one more thing. I want to go and get some casework, so I want to get a kitchen bench for later on. Okay, so countertops. So casework countertops. Um, there's a there's a countertop there with a sinkhole. Yeah, I could use it, I suppose. Um, Oh, one with the sink now. No, 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 no. Let's do something else. Let's just go plain countertop. No, we won't. Excuse me while I think about this. Top Island. This one doesn't have any splashbacks on it because I'm going to use that down here as, a, as an open one. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a countertop L shape, which is that one there. So what we'll do is we'll put this L shape one in here. We'll put the island on there. We could create a little um, overhang there for a bit of a servery or a bar if we wanted to. And now we'll just go open. Okay. Just to double check the you know where our components are. So if we go to architecture, okay, we go to the component tab. Okay, so CM is the short code, so I can just go CM. Okay, there we go. So the countertop was the last one loaded, and there it is. But let's just quickly rattle off a couple of elements, and then we'll build it with the next. We'll finish it with the next video. Okay, so um, scrolling down, down, down. Okay, let's put some waterworks in. Okay, there's our domestic toilet. Let's click on that. There it is. There. This one's nice. It will sort of snap quite happily to walls. Etc. Okay, let's go to our first floor plan. We'll whack another toilet down there. Okay, again, CM. That's the last toilet. We'll put it about here because that is roughly where the other one is. So we're going to try and get all our plumbing lined up. You know, let's try and be good, good building designers. Okay. Um, while we're up here, let's see if we can get a bath in here. Okay, so floor plan, so CM. There's our uh, regular tub there. Okay, now this one, remember I said that this one needs a wall. So if I'm away from wall, it's not going to do anything. As soon as I get a wall, bang, it um, does all that. Now if I want to flip it around, I can just use my space, bit, space key, flick it around. There we go. Okay, and I'm just going to sort of equalize that. And I'm not going to worry too much about the design side of it right now. Although, straight away, that's not working. I want to probably swing that door out because I might need to get a shower or something like that in here. Actually, just thinking about it, that's not quite right. So, I've clicked on it. I clicked it RO for rotate. So, here we go. So, rotate, pretty simple in Revit. So, this is my start. Say so that's my start angle there. Okay gives us some dynamic input, there we go, 90 degrees ok, and we can just uh, grab that there you go, it snaps itself to the wall that's quite handy, so you come in there you're not going to, we'll put a shower here I think ok, down the track so if you think about it, good design, you open the door the first thing you don't want to see is somebody on the toilet ok, so you come in here, you've got a toilet we've got a bath on one side, shower on another plenty of space for towel rails and all that sort of stuff so it's not the world's perfect design but it's a design okay so we'll call it quits there we'll come back in another video we'll place um, some more of these elements that we've already got okay and we'll start sort of fleshing it out start making it look like a proper floor plan okay and uh, then we'll do some more work on the rest of the construction side so we'll see you later